the Joe Rogan experience. I remember that the first one I ever saw as a kid was The Shining, and that's still oh, there's that still, still holds some up. terrifying still holds moments. Up. That's an interesting one, right? Because Stephen King didn't like it. Yeah, that makes sense because it is wildly different from it, it, it. It's a it's a huge departure from the novel. Yeah. So I can imagine if you're an artist and then someone takes mm -hmm. your artwork and they completely change it in many different ways. They well, yeah, they changed it a bunch of ways, but they kept it a bunch of ways too. Mm -hmm. It became like a collaboration between him and Kubrick because it was clearly his original idea. But yeah, he wanted, uh, I believe, Stephen King wanted that character to go crazy. He didn't want him to have this fucking edge, like right from, the beginning. from the beginning. <laughs> like Jack Nicholson had an edge, like right from the beginning, and then became insane, and then you know became. Well, I know what it's like, yeah, to be an alcoholic who just stopped drinking, and and I I think you have that edge almost from the get go. Yeah, a little bit, but I mean Jack's Jack. That movie was so good. It was top top ten all time fave for That's me. That's what's crazy. It's like someone needed to tell Stephen King, like I know it wasn't the <laughs> same thing, but god damn, it was good. It was so good, dude. When those little girls are in the hallway and the fucking Terrifying. blood's coming out of the elevator, holy shit, that's a good movie. <laughs> so many great moments. I and, love. <laughs> and back then when it came out, like people don't understand. Like, The Shining is, like, what is that, 82 or something 1980, like that? I think. Is it? I think so. The, is that what it is? Yeah. So 1980, people, you've got to understand. We're talking about a whole different world. Yeah. There's no there's no special effects. If there yeah. are there, they're not very good. They're all, like, clunky yeah, you looking. Had Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, but it's, but that's it's, it. it's clunky. Yeah. The special effects are clunky. I guess Empire Strikes Back is pretty yeah. fucking dope. And then Alien was 79. That's right. All right. But My that's it. But it's falling apart. Blade Runner was 82. So there's really not much else, though. But they There is a lot of clunky. So they did this movie with just, just, I mean, just all Sets. of the, yeah, all of the different crazy moments, like that bathroom moment with the yes. axe coming through the door. Yeah. There was so many of those moments. The moment with the old lady. Because Kubrick was a fucking master at, oh. at creating suspense and, and using the sets and the color contrast. Like, just the, 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 the color patterns are unsettling. And the fact that he used those twins weren't exactly, they weren't twins. There were just little differences. <laughs> that makes it unsettling. There's so many different ways. Do you know he used to do complex mathematics for fun? That's how he unwind. What a genius. He was a, a trippy dude, man. He is man. by far, I think, the greatest director of all time. Well, he definitely is one of them, and one of the most unique ones. There's oh. a, you know, there's a crazy conspiracy theory connected to The, the Shining and The Moon Landing. Yeah, I heard yeah. about The Moon Landing. Yeah, it's, it's all about the number on the door is the exact same amount of thousands of miles, 237. And it's 237,000 miles away. I heard but also, that, by the I... way, it, it varies. See, that's the problem with that argument, is that like the, the, the distance between the Earth and the moon is not constant. I think it, it moves a little bit. So I think it goes as far as 265,000 feet out, if I'm, if I'm, or miles around, rather, 265,000 miles out. And it, it goes to 237. But I think it varies. I think it goes like this. I think it has like an elliptical orbit around the Earth a little bit. I maybe, heard... maybe I made that up. Is that true? Yeah, it sounds accurate. Sorry, I was in the middle of reading the 237 stuff. Yeah, I heard it oh. was also possibly about Native Americans, how the hotel was <laughs> built on, a, on an ancient Indian burial ground. And even Shelley Duvall sort of looked Native American. You could mm. hear Native American music playing in the opening credits. I wouldn't be surprised if there was many layers to it. To, yeah, he's just a brilliant man. He was a brilliant, brilliant man. The little kid did have an Apollo 11 sweatshirt Yeah, that's on, true. Though. He did have an Apollo 11. I mean, that's pretty on the, the nose. I just remember in the back room, in the stock room, there was like a can of a product with a giant, uh, it was like um, Geronimo's head on the on the on on there. I'm sure. That, who Dude, there's so knows? much to that. There, yeah. There's probably many layers. I mean, Kubrick is not going to operate deep. on one layer. No. He's probably going to have Never. a bunch of weird shit in there. I there's, mean, look at 2001. What a mind fuck. Oh, my God. What a mind fuck. Yeah. Well, there was so much of his work. You know, and he's the guy that the, the conspiracy theorists, when they get the, the most crazy, when they, when they really want to dive into who did it, they think it was all Kubrick. The Kubrick literally filmed the fake moon landing, right, right. uploaded it to the uh, American TV satellites. It, if anyone it, could do it, it'd be him. He'd be the guy I imagine, would get to do it. Can you imagine if that was, that was really what happened? I've all heard all these the, years. 
I remember hearing all the fucking conspiracy theorists about the um, Illuminati killing him because he made uh, yeah. yeah. Well, they were worried he was going to open his fucking mouth. Well, tell, he made tell the about moon. the moon landing. He, oh, no. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> no, because he made keep, fucking keep his fucking uh, eyes mouth wide shut. shut. That, too. That was his last one. They're like, enough. Mm -hmm. This guy's getting too close. Because I think he died like a, like a week after that movie came out. Of course out. he did. That's fucked That's up. That's how they roll. <laughs>